Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Profound sadness this week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 122, a show in which the writers of InsertQuantaBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Town, but before we get to the jack in this in this jack in the box of a box of a podcast, what? Uh, let's find out what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What'd you achieve? Um played some Call of Duty. Okay. Um I played a hell of a lot of uh non attack running gun. <laughs> and, which we're gonna uh, talk about later. Yeah, and Simpsons tapped out. Nice. Yeah, I saw you're on there now. Yeah. That makes me happy. I'm crushing the uh, this uh, winter thing going on. Yeah, I didn't. I, I started a little bit, so we're good. Uh, I'm straight crushing it. I wish you could make. I wish you could earn money faster because they want me to build Bart's treehouse and Moe's. Mm-hmm. And it's just going to take a long time. Yeah. Moe's is worth it, though. Oh, I'm sure. Well, Santa Santa wants to get drunk, so <laughs> <laughs> I gotta reach the next level and uh, build mode. I'm waiting on things to to level up now. I got Artie Ziff stuff coming up and just a whole bunch of stuff. But that, I but I but I digest. What? <laughs> Sorg, what would you what you achieve this week? You digest? Yeah, that's a Family Guy joke. I I stole it from them. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Um. Instead of I digress. I beat Limbo. Nice. Had a few things left on there. Got them, got them pounded out. Um, yeah, ending doesn't make any more sense. <laughs> so, it's still a fun there... game. It's a really good game. Oh, I, uh, I, I recommend it to though. anybody. It's always for like two bucks on Steam or mm-hmm. Xbox or, or whatever. Um, d- yeah, definitely it's... check it out. It's a great puzzle game. Uh, it's a platformer puzzle game ish thing. Really it's creepy. Haunting... Ha- oh, it's hauntingly beautiful. It is. It say. really is. Tremendous. Uh, yeah, certainly go check that out. So. Awesome. All right, and uh, I achieved this week. I upgraded my copy of Destiny to the Xbox One version. Uh, played a lot of that this weekend. I played mostly, though. I played Dragon Age, uh, which I ran into a dragon last night. And let me just tell you, my body was not ready. <laughs> the dragon killed me in like one fire breath. I was like, oh no, and I'm dead. But, yeah. And then, well, actually, no, I got revived by one of my party members. And then, like, a little dragon came along and started attacking us. And then I died. Everybody died. <laughs> so I can't even beat a little dragon when I'm playing. Um, I also played some Tapped Out. And I played, uh, what else did I play? Um, oh, uh, I got Madden, and, and I played a little bit of that, too. So fun stuff this week. Nice. All right, uh... We have a question this week uh, from our very own Mike Allen. Uh, he he wants to know what gaming system did you always want but never own? Uh, he always mm-hmm. wanted a Neo Geo. Man. Okay. Uh, what are some of your some of your systems that that you wanted but never had? Well, it, you know, you know, I'm oh, well. Thankfully, a lot of them that I wanted and never had, I hit eBay as I've mentioned here before and got a lot of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> but some of the more elusive ones for me. Um. I did anybody else watch the Game Pro TV show? Yeah, with um, oh, what was his name? I can't, uh, we can we can Google yeah, it. We can look, can't remember his we'll, name. We'll go we'll Google that in the, in the meantime. But I remember, like at the time, it was like I had an NES, and this is really how I got to see 16-bit games in action for the most part, right? Mm-hmm. And the ones that were always amazing to me because they would show like Splatterhouse and a bunch of other games from Turbo Graphics 16. Yeah. Like something about it, how it was like a little card instead of um, the cartridges. Oh, man. Is that, is that oh, the one Oh, man. Bomb? I found video. Uh, there's episode one is on YouTube, by the way. Oh, wow. I'm going to check, I'm gonna that, check out. that out later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, this guy looks familiar. I know. Oh, he was in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, I can't remember his name, though. Uh, me neither. Um, but uh, yeah, no, because of that, that was that was the big one. And I read Game Pro at the time, so I got to read up on what Me all too. these other systems were doing. You know, I I always wanted and, and eventually 
got the the 32x and the sega cd because it seemed so cool because i didn't have a sega and nintendo at the time wasn't didn't do that mortal kombat 2 era turnaround on their image um Mm -hmm. so so especially you know i was you know what probably a tween at that point right so that looked cool you could have blood instead of sweat oh my god you know <laughs> uh jd roth was the host of game jd roth, and, JD that's not roth. The, and that's not the only thing he did there was something else he did too after that, that was, it was like another video game show or something yeah so swat then there's the guy on there he'd always go swat whenever they go into the section and then there oh wait wait here let me try to pull up the video here here he is like green screened into i think that's like a metal gear solid or yeah no sorry metal gear or something um wow crystalis crystalis that, that, that's pushing technology boundaries oh back it was <laughs> he's just like this little guy i know you guys don't have the video coming at you uh but he's just this little guy he crawls out of this like door in in the middle of the screen and and, some, and then crawls back in somehow. That's some Nick Arcade shit right there. <laughs> that is. That definitely is. JD Roth is gonna get some video games. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, taking man. it back, taking it back. <laughs> Chachi, how about you? What do you, what'd you um, want? Believe it or not, and knowing what I know now, I can honestly say that it would still be my choice. Um, but the one that I've always wanted and still eludes me is the Virtual Boy. Oh, I got a good story about the Virtual Boy. Um, and I will own it one day, um, when I find one at an appropriate price. Um, but it it is something that I want and did want and will always want. My friend and I laid down to play the Virtual Boy. And we got such a headache from it. And we were just like, I don't want to play this anymore. (laughs) I I, I know this, but... (laughs) You just want to see it. I, I, I want it. You know, I I, sh- I shared that podcast with you guys, and the, and and the one the one lady on there just insisted that Virtual Boy actually was a good system. It had good games for it. Like uh, there were there were a few. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I think that's a big ball, thing. The yeah. Mario Dodgeball game. Oh man, it's on Amazon for four hundred and twenty five bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah, like I said, at a de- at a good price. I yeah. should have. I I should have jumped on eBay ten years ago. Holy crap! See. Can't believe. It. Uh, my system of choice, I would pick the Sega Genesis. I never had a Genesis, and I wanted one, and I got that ret- Retron uh, 5 mm-hmm. system, or ret- Retron 3, I think it went, might have been, that had all three. Uh, the uh, Nintendo worked, the SNES port worked, but the for some reason the Genesis port would not work on my television. Oh, no. So I had to send it back, and that was sadness, because I have some Sega Genesis games. I have Primal Rage, I have Raw. I have Royal Rumble. Don't have a console that can play them yet. <laughs> so I never had it. That's like the one that got away. Mm. So, but I had friends that had it, so that was good enough. So, all right, uh, Chachi, you want to plug our uh, contest that's going on, and then take us around the net? Uh, over at InsertCoinToBegin.com, we are giving away two tickets to the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra's uh, Pokemon. Symphonic Evolutions, and I've gotten really, really, really uh, good at saying that. Um, <laughs> I, I don't stumble when I, I say it now. Um, but over there, you can enter to win the two tickets for the January 17th show at 8 p.m., which is the only show they're doing. Yep. Wow. There is no second performance of this. This One Pokemon time. show doesn't evolve. What's that? This Pokemon show doesn't evolve into no, two. It's one and done. Um, so you can go over there, enter to win. Um, I would say that they're very close to selling out by now. Um, I don't know for sure, though. Um, at the time I received the tickets, they were at 70%. So I would have to say that it's extremely close. Mm-hmm. And these are not bad seats. Um, they're about 20 rows back from the stage. Which, Whoa. if you've never been to the place, that is amazing. That's awesome. Uh, view wise, you might get poked in the face by a violin string. Just very saying. possible. Just saying. I, I, yeah, I'm just the bow might there. just come out. And... That is a possibility. Um, if an instrument breaks, you may get to catch the piece. 
by God, and it broke in half. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you can go over to insertcointobegin.com. There's nine days left to, in to enter that contest, mm -hmm. and we do have a lot of entries. Do it. So, you want to see the show? That's a free way to do it. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Blink, blink. Is there something wrong with your eye, sir? I'm winking at you. You are? I'm winking at the internet. Oh. And for the audio, I'm saying wink because they may be listening to the show and can't see me physically winking. Yeah. So I'm I'm audibly winking, wink, wink, <laughs> for the, the listeners and not the viewers. All right. Kay. You splash now. <laughs> it's ineffective. Oh. <laughs> It's not effective. Chachi used wink. It's super effective. <laughs> <laughs> bling, bling. And before we, we stay on this for another 14 minutes. Bobby became yeah. confused and hit himself. <laughs> <laughs> it is about time for what, what, video game themed things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Before you start, though, I want, I want to know, why do Pokemon attack themselves when they're confused? I get confused all the time, and I, I'm fine. Are we sure about that? I'm pretty sure you hit yourself all the time. I, I do. Are, have you seen a cat chase his own tail? Yeah, my cat does it all the time. There you it's go. Pretty I think that explains I mean, everything. There are, there are times where I get confused. I, I forget where I'm going, and I'll turn around really quick and run into a wall. Maybe I'll try to, maybe I'll try to roar at him tonight to see if he becomes confused. <laughs> <laughs> all right, continue. <laughs> Bobby F. J. Town <laughs> used roar. It's super effective. <laughs> Cat became confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, runners up this week. Uh, from the Video Game Awards this, earlier this week. This is amazing. Uh, it's a 38-second video of why people really play Dragon Age. Yep. Um, hint, it's sex. Yep. So. Although, you can't... My, my, my girl... From Dragon Age Origins, I'm sad. I can't. I can't courtship her anymore. Devastating. <laughs> Devastating. Uh, and uh, we have Bandai released a Tekken 20th anniversary montage. Okay. Um. So that's really, really good. I loved it a lot. It almost made it into the main portion of this. Uh. But then I got sent a video did, that I had laughed at. Did you see the uh? character that got banned from Tekken? No. Uh, she's wearing a cat suit and everybody was like angry about it for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. Her name's like Lucky Chloe or something like that. <laughs> and they're, they're like, they're, the, the creator of Tekken was like, she's not coming to the US, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people against furries. Yeah. And Oh, and he was like, well, we're going to give you a bald guy with muscles and a gun. <laughs> So we're like, yay! USA, USA. All right, let's get to this Jack in the Jack in the Box of a uh, segment. Uh, first up, there's a musician goes by the name of Visceral mm -hmm. released an album that I'm still confused by. Um, it's a mashup album featuring the music from Earthbound with popular rap tracks. Sounds fair. Um, yeah, I, I put one in the post. It's called Word is Bond, or Bound, and it is a, uh, or no, I'm sorry, still J-E-F-F, -F, and it's uh, uh, still D-R-E by Dr. Dre. There's a lot of uh, Earthbound stuff at the Comic-Con this weekend. It's, it's, it's still CityCon. Yeah, it, it's, it's making a cool. huge comeback. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, next up. Uh, Rocket Jump video made hit my desk this week, and it is Man vs. Katamari. <laughs> um, essentially, guy sees a cat, small Katamari ball, boots it down the alley, so Katamari gets bigger and bigger and bigger and gets its revenge. I like that they use the music for the, when yeah. he's rolling the ball. That's amazing. <laughs> um, minute and 13 seconds long. Definitely worth checking out. Last but not least... A PSA to all console owners out there. Uh, two minute, 15 second PSA telling you to not abuse your consoles. And if you'd like to 
rescue a console, you can do so at the video at the screen at the uh, at the link at the bottom of the video. I, I Oh, go ahead, sir. I, I love that the guy is titled as Sarah McLaughlin, even though it's obviously not even close <laughs> yeah. to it's a guy. I'm Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah, a uh, uh, friend on Twitter, Sheep the Moon, uh, sent this to me right as I was getting ready to post it. And so the Tekken video got bumped. <laughs> Poor Tekken. And that got put in immediately because I laughed as soon as it started. Um. So yeah, uh, go over and check out all the stuff at insertcornbeam.com. Video game theme things from around the internet, net, 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 posted weekly to give you an insight of my journey through the series of tubes known as the internet. <laughs> plus, you, one, plus one to your nerdy nerdiness. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna get to some things you should be made aware of. Our first story is kind of sad. Um. Uh, the father of video games, Ralph Bear, passed away. Uh, he was 92 years old. Um, he developed the brown box as well as the, the design that eventually licensed was li eventually licensed to Magnavox. Magnavox, uh, I can't speak right now, um, which created the Magnavox Odyssey uh, in 1972. Um, Nolan Bushnell actually uh, found inspiration in Magnavox table tennis, uh, and it would later. Uh, create Pong for Atari, and it helped the company continue with arcade machines and future po popularize home gaming consoles. Uh, Bear's portfolio also included uh, the development of the first light gun game in 1967 and the electronic call and response Simon toy in 1979. Uh, you guys have played Simon, correct? Hello? Yes. Okay. Um, I, th I heard a ding. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the guy was it was a genius, and he and he, create, and he pretty much is the father of video games. He's considered that, um, and he was he won uh, it was named one of the National Medal of Technology and Innovation laureates in 2004, and was recognized for his uh, work with several other notable awards, including the GDC Pioneer Award in 2007. Uh, so you will be missed, Mr. Ralph Bayer. He was 92. All right, uh, Amiibos uh, from Nintendo. Wait, hold on, stop, fun oh, okay. fact. I was okay. muted. I don't know how I got oh, muted. Okay. <laughs> fun fact. That was the thing. For the Magnavox Odyssey was held for ten years before anyone did anything with it. Wow. Really? Wow. Because he wanted technology to catch up. Mm. Ah. See, he was really smart. Like he knew that like it wasn't ready for it yet, so he just held on to it and just, you know. That's pretty cool. I mean that's Go ahead. I mean, he, and he lived a long life, which is which is really good too. So, all right. Uh, yeah, at ninety-two, oh. I think he was uh, he was good. Yeah. Um, and he and he created, you know, uh, what we know as video games today. So, thank you for that. All right, guys. Uh, amiibos are going away. Some of them, not all of them, just some of them. Uh, the Marth, the Animal Crossing Villager, and the Wii Fit Trainer will not be included in the second printer, printing of the first batch of Amiibos. Uh, Nintendo said that they're going to aim to keep the most popular figures available, like Sonic, or not, you know, not Sonic, uh, Mario, Link, Princess. I think Sonic, they said, is coming later, right? Makes sense. Maybe. Makes sense. I think so, because he's in Smash Brothers. So. Yeah. Um, uh, Nintendo has also officially discontinued the, the GameCube controller adapter. Um, the device was went on sale alongside its Super Smash Brothers and can only be used with Super Smash Brothers. Uh, that allows the uh, everybody to plug in their GameCube control controller and use it on the uh, Smash Brothers game. Um, it's going for upwards of like a lot of money <laughs> on um, on eBay uh, because it's so hard to find now. Um, I think it's around like eighty dollars. Somebody said uh, <laughs> I wouldn't pay that for it. But I know there's a lot of GameCube obsessed people that are that like love the GameCube controller and think it's perfect for Smash Brothers. Um, would you pay that much for for a peripheral like that? Peripheral? Uh, no, 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 not really, not really. Yeah, no. and and we don't play Smash Brothers as much as like a lot of other people do. No, um, no, no. I was listen. Mentioned before, we shared a uh, shared a podcast with you guys. I was I was digging on. I can't remember the name of at the moment. Um, but like they they talked. Uh, they're very big into Smash Brothers, and uh, mm -hmm. they talked about how how 
the problem with I think I think it was before this came out that it got discontinued, but they were trying to find the the adapter, and mm-hmm. they were talking about how they have like a fresh like the one guy uh, they're speculating has a fresh stock of unopened GameCube controllers <laughs> with, <laughs> with with untainted C sticks. Um, so I, 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 this is it's a weird hardcore uh, uh, thing, you know. I mean, I know when I got the Wii Smash Brothers, I mean it, it we. I don't think we play it with anything other than the controllers that I had from the GameCube. Um, they're really, it doesn't work so well otherwise. But I guess we do have yeah. a controller now in the um, in the in the gamepad and stuff. But still, I, I, still everybody else has to have the game, the uh, the 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 Wii boats and stuff, don't they? So mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, it's weird, especially when you have something like that can, can do uh, eight players. So. And the, with like the the advent of like all the tournaments and stuff they're having for Smash Brothers, mm-hmm. um, I know players like have their own method of how they like to play. Uh, people are breaking their 3DS uh, D pad, or not the D pad, but the little dongle stick. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. I haven't played it as much as I should be, but um, it's a fun game. I just I'm not gonna invest all that kind of money into it. For just one game? No, certainly not. It certainly only, not. It only plays one game, so that's like whatever. That's like investing all that money in all that Guitar Hero equipment just to play mm-hmm. Guitar Hero, you know, or all that DDR pad equipment just to play D. Oh crap! I did both those things. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys sad about the Amiibo news? Uh, no. There, no uh, you know? Nah, you kind of expect them to be collector's items, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, just look at how easy it is to get a you know, you know. It makes sense. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's it's not the most popular characters like Mario no. and, and Princess Peach. But then Peach they're going to be the most expensive playing. ones, like the craziness with the Samus uh, yeah. uh, misprint, right? Yeah, um, yeah. No, I'm not surprised, not disappointed. I, I, as collector items go, I, I'm sure this is no different than any other toy line. If nothing, that ups the value of like the not as popular characters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to try to find a Weath trainer. <laughs> I That's almost why I don't care because it's not characters that I would want to buy anyhow. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I, I almost bought. Hi, everybody. Hey, Riz is joining us. Who here would have played the Wii U, the Wii U, tra- the Wii Fitness Trainer, in the game of uh, Smash Brothers? I, I would. I would. I play. You I'd, would, Bobby. I would. I would. I usually go to every character to see if I like it. Like if I like that character, I'll stick with it. If I don't like it, I probably won't play them as them again. You know, I try to at least finish the game <laughs> as much as I can with each character. <laughs> so, Bob, you're finishing games. Hey, it's a fighting game. It's a smaller game. It's shorter. I can do that. So, all right, um, guys, I have some Destiny news. Uh, they announced this week that uh, player progress and Destiny will transfer to the sequel. Um, and they, they had the uh, community manager for David Degau, Degu, uh confirmed to IGN this week. Um, he said, it's been no secret that we have a 10-year plan for the expansion and evolution of this franchise. And it's something that we're always dreaming about. Uh, he continued, the idea is that the Guardian you have created is something you can bring along with you on that adventure. Uh, if you take a look at what... Or at the way that people have played other games for a long period of time, uh, they've had a relationship with the same character for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that, like in World of Warcraft, people have had the same character for years, and that's what they want to do with Destiny. Um, I think it's a great idea. Um, I like my character in Destiny right now. Um, I got a robot guy. He's cool. Um, do, are you guys gonna carry your character over to, with you to the the sequel when it comes out? Of course. Mm. I don't understand. Here's the part that I don't understand. Okay. Why are they talking about a sequel already? Well, yeah, well, that's, 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 it's, that's it's, the confusing part. It's down the line, and I think it's to get people interested in playing the game now. God. They're like, oh, there's a future for this franchise, and you get to play as the same character going but forward. The game the has next been game. out for months. Not- not even. Well, yeah, months. yeah. They're just trying to get people in, so they get invested in the game and they stick with it. You know, like a World of Warcraft. That's my thoughts on it. I think but, it's a cool idea. As somebody who's not in Destiny, I I, I think it's generally uh, uh, pretty cool. I mean, Mass Effect. Like, this reminds me of Mass Effect yeah, when you guys were talking a, about that. That's a Mass Effect idea. I mean, but 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 
this is also more MMO persistent world. Like this mm-hmm. feels like the concept that we talked about and had opinions one way or another with like a Call of Duty MMO. You know, mm-hmm. like this is kind of how I envisioned that, that there'll be sequels, but that character kind of comes through or map mm-hmm. packs or however you you kind of do that. Um, I, I think it's a, good, a cool concept and it really uh, kind of locks you into the game in general. So, mm-hmm. yeah, good. I think it's and, awesome. And, and speaking of expansions, The Dark Below is out today for nineteen ninety nine, And if you got the season pass okay. for thirty four ninety nine, you get it to download it for free. Well, not free, but, you know, you know what I mean. How DLC works. <laughs> no, Bobby, tell me how downloadable content works. I'm going to be Michael Cole. Story time with Bobby. Bobby. Go ahead. Does that come to over? This. Does that come over First, the tubes, Bobby? It comes. Through, it comes through the internet. Uh, first, you have to scratch off a card and get your points for your various systems. <laughs> now I'm not going to. I'm not going to walk you guys through. <laughs> you guys are smart. You'll figure it's it out. Too late now, Bobby. Too late um, now. Keep going. I'm moving on because Chachi is going to talk about something that was very exciting last week. Chachi, tell us about those nuns. So last week uh, in the middle of the show, I came across a, a, a game called Nun Attack Run and Gun. Mm-hmm. And we all very lost excited it. about that. And yeah, we you all downloaded excited. it. <laughs> I, I, I even, tried I to. Spammed, I spammed Riz and uh, Fuzzy you did. You uh, did. to get them to play this game. Uh, Fuzzy instantly responded and said, oh my god, I'm addicted. (laughs) Um, And Riz said, you made me play Temple Nun. (laughs) Temple Nun? (laughs) Temple Nun. Um, Nice. Nice. (laughs) However, uh, brought to us by Freema Studio, this is a sequel. Um, And I was unaware of that at first. Uh, but essentially, it, it is a, a Temple Run-esque game, but you're a nun, and you run, and you gun. Um, you impose God's will on demonic creatures while collecting coins and surviving. Wow. Um, with seven different nuns, each with their own ability. Uh, the possibilities are endless, as is the game. Um, with power-ups and things that you can use for better demon removal and werewolf. Uh, wow. The game just keeps going and going. Uh, obviously, it's a temple run type game. Uh, the sound and graphics on it are incredible. Uh, it, like it, For this type of game, the graphics don't need to be outstanding, but they are. Which means they, they took the time, they put in the work uh, to make the game stand out from the others. And it's definitely noticed. As far as the sound, it's not something that you'd normally hear because if you're playing this game a lot, you're going to have it muted because you're going to mm-hmm. play in public places. It's always good for a mobile game to be like that. Right. Graphically um, involved. But the the sound of the game, it reminded me of a, a Shaft meets Charlie's Angel type music <laughs> um, with appropriate weapon sound effects. Um, also, outstandingly... Well done. Is it like Fred's Angels from uh, Big Hero 6? No. <laughs> um, but definitely worth it. Uh, it's a free game. Uh, there are in-app purchases. You don't really need to buy them, though, because, mm-hmm. it, quite frankly, the, the stuff that you get from the get-go is more than enough to keep you entertained with this game. That's good, too. So uh, I gave it a 5 out of 5 and oh. definitely recommend that you play this game. Awesome. That excites me. I might I, I might try to download it. I tried to download it last week, but I didn't have enough uh, space on my uh, Nexus 7. <laughs> so I'm going to try to clear some space and make room for it. Nice. So. Good call. I would do it. Yep. All right, uh, Riz, this is going to this is going to excite you. Uh, Sony had a big event this week. Uh and as as many of you might not know, Riz got a PS4. Um, the footage, the foot, they showed some footage from uh, their big games like Uncharted 4, uh, No Man's Sky, The Order, uh, and Bloodborne. Um, Bloodborne. I know new games such as Drawn to Death, uh, The Forest by uh, God of War creator David Jaffe, and a new free-to-play shooter called Kill Strain were also announced. Uh, Sony, Sony also though though they also trolled fans. 
<laughs> by revealing Final Fantasy VII was coming to the PS4, but a non-HD version once again. Uh, so it's basically the same version that everybody's getting. Also, there are rumors that uh, Final Fantasy X is getting remastered once again for the PS4, when it was just <clears throat> remastered on the PS3. Yep. Uh, yeah, so that that's cool news, I guess. Um, What's the uh, cooler the, news, Bobby? But the big news coming from from this uh, pro, uh, this uh, uh, Xbox event or, or not Xbox event Xbox. Sony Sony event uh, was that Street Fighter Five is officially a PS4 and PC exclusive, yeah. uh, and it was built from the ground up by Sony. So basically, wow. that means that Microsoft has no chance of getting. Uh, Street Fighter 5. Wow. Now, if you know me, I am a huge Street Fighter fan. Uh-huh. Street I, 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 I won Chachi's Plays Tournament, Street Fighter 5. Fi- Street Fighter Tournament. I have the belt over there to prove it. Mm-hmm. This, so, essentially, you're going to buy a PS4 now. Uh, yep. Maybe eventually. Uh, I have a PS3. Eventually. The reason, I, I mean, I, granted, I was impressed by the PS4 at E3. Yep. However, the reason I didn't get a PS4 was because of my hatred for my PS3. Just yeah. because I, it, it, you know, it was the, it was the bait of my existence for so long. <laughs> you know, it, I, I I understand. It was I I just it it turned me off of PlayStation for I, a while. I I completely understand. I had a PlayStation One and a PlayStation yeah. Two. Those were my systems. And. And I'm just going to say this right now. Mm-hmm. The offer always stands. I, I may get one me. eventually. I may get one Come eventually. join me with the Templars. But the, the, the one thing I'm going to rant about is not about Sony. My oh. rant is about Capcom. Uh-oh. Capcom is a shell of a company that used to be. Whoa. They, wow. ruined, they, they ruined Mega Man for Uh-oh. one day. Oh, boy. This is going to be amazing. And now they're ruining Street Fighter. Not ruining it, but just... Every, Street Fighter was for everyone. <laughs> any any system had Street Fighter. Super Nintendo had Street Fighter. Sega Genesis had Street Fighter. And now I, I, I know that they're having some financial troubles. And that's why they went to Sony and said, Listen, Sony, could you help us out? Build it from the ground up. Invest in our franchise. Because that's the only thing we have left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and and if you help, we'll just have it for your system, and that's it. So of course Sony's going to say, "Well, hell yeah, that's that's a great idea," but let's put it on PC also, and let let make make it cross platform wise, so you can play p- people oh. on PC and on the, the Sony Sony uh, PlayStation Four, and leave all the Xbox users in the cold. And everybody's saying about how uh, Laura Croft Tomb Raider. That franchise is on Xbox, and it's Xbox exclusive. Kinda. Not really. Xbox exclusive till holiday 2015. After that, in 2016, it be- it's going to go to every every console then. But we have no chance at Street Fighter. And also they announced that Super Street Fighter 4 is coming to PS4 as well. <laughs> and not coming to the 360. <laughs> so, screw you, Cat. Hey, uh, Bobby? Yes, what? Bobby? What? And, they, and I'm more mad that they ruined Mega Man. But I <laughs> hope this doesn't mean that uh, Capcom versus Marvel or Marvel versus Capcom 4 or whatever. I hope that means this does not make that a Sony exclusive as well. And I hope that Capcom isn't in Sony's back pocket now. Oh, Marvel versus Capcom. I, 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 I just, I just, I have, I have no words. Um, and, and you can have Puzzle Fighter. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you can have that one, Riz. Um, but I if they, I make, just, if they make another con if they make another Conquer game, I will consider buying an Xbox One. That that was that's a rumor too. Rare is rumored to make another Conquer game, but make better. I I just what they did to Mega Man and <clears> how how the, the the creator of Mega Man now has to make a different game that's like Mega Man <laughs> from a Kickstarter fund. Screw you, Capcom. <laughs> But here, here's the thing. Capcom has done. Capcom has Mega Man on Smash Brothers, which is a Nintendo exclusive. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but they just don't care about Mega Man anymore. They're like, oh yeah, you can use but, it, whatever. We don't care. 
Oh, I'm sure they. I'm sure they <laughs> got a nice paycheck for that but, one. But Mega Man was more of a Nintendo character than most characters that Nintendo had, though. I mean, when you think of Mega Man, yeah, you think of NES. I'm sorry to say that, but, but you know, mostly <clears throat> most people do think of him as a. But still, Nintendo it's character. a Capcom character. Yeah. On another system. Yeah. True. Who's to Who's to say that Xbox won't get? Um, Street no. no uh, gonna get street uh, oh, we're gonna get okay, Resident street Evil. Fighter. We're gonna get You're Resident Evil 19. I can Resident see that. 19. I can see that. I can see that. It, it, it's uh, gonna go either way. You know, it's whatever deals they struck. These are always in flux. Cap- and this Capcom is nothing is new. just whoring themselves out for the highest bidder. Yeah, and and, and the, the 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 creative head of Xbox said that um, it's it's all in good competition. He's not really mad about it. He can't be mad about it. So <laughs> it is what mad. It is. It is what it is. He, so. he probably posted the picture of Will of uh, Will Smith just going. I'm not even mad. <laughs> All right, but that brings mad. us to our uh, that brings us to our final final round question. Uh, do you think third party publishers <coughs> are going to console or are going console exclusive is a good thing or a bad thing? Spurs competition, Spurs fanboys yelling at each yep. other. Yeah, um, yeah. No, that, 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 that's, right, that's, that's that's it's fine. Console wars tear, tearing this podcast apart. <laughs> Um, and, and I feel like we haven't had that for a good long time either, other than uh, first parties, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, the biggest thing, again, wh- wh- what are the things I want to play PlayStation 3 for? Uh, uh, wh- uh, what was it, Left Behind? Wh- uh, Last of Us. Last, Last of Us. Us. Last Which Riz hasn't gotten yet. Last he has of a Us. chance to get it, and he hasn't got it yet. Last of Us, Uncharted, and uh, oh, Metal Gear. Yeah, you got Uncharted 4, too. So... I'm going to show you all my games right now, <laughs> as well as the game that came with it. Okay. Okay. Do you see this list right here? No, okay. we can't read that. Oh. Destiny. And especially there's, not there's the audio people. Destiny, Assassin's Creed Unity, okay. Dragon Age Inquisition, have it. MLB The Show, don't have it. And Shadows of Mordor, have it. I have five of those games that you just announced. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to pick all these up because I just dropped them all. Way to go. Uh, but Way to go. The point is, I have I have no monies. Yeah, but that's the bad thing. <laughs> and you probably don't have you probably don't have any hard drive space left either. Hardly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matt's point. <laughs> Matt's pointing out in the um, uh, brother Sorg is pointing out in the chat room uh, mm-hmm. that Dead Rising Three was an Xbox exclusive. So yeah, <coughs> yeah they seem yeah, to be going back yeah. and forth. So. so so that's, that's fine. That, that, that's great. That's great. Yeah. It sucks, wow, it's it sucks for it sucks for those of us that can't buy both consoles. Yeah, but that, that's see, that's the only sad part. It's, but the thing is, with if if they're just going to go for X, Xbox One, mm-hmm. if this is just an Xbox One exclusive, then you're screwed. But mm-hmm. if you still have a 360, and they do bring out a, another you know Capcom game that you want to play. You can still play that game, just like you can play Street Fighter on the PS. How many times they just end up re-releasing? You'll get Super Street Fighter Five. Well, that's what they said, though. It's it was this game was built by Sony from the ground up, so I don't think it's going to come. Well, no, no, no. It doesn't mean you can't port it. Doesn't mean that because they because but Microsoft bought Minecraft and yeah, that's still. PlayStation thing, too. but but the Sony want Microsoft to profit from their their game. Why not? What's well, not like I don't think Sony's getting a kickback. Sony's the one to spend all the money to get it, so people will buy their yeah. console. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I'm no I'm no video game businessman, but <laughs> Michael Sorg, video game businessman. <laughs> He's got a suitcase with an Xbox uh, in it. <laughs> that would be awesome, actually. All right. Well. I, I just had to rant on Capcom. It's it's not so it's much okay. a Sony. Thing. Bobby. It's more Bobby. of a Capcom thing with me. It's okay. Yeah. I don't think um, Capcom is nearly as disappointing as Nintendo. Oh. Like not, Nintendo's starting to gain steam back now though. Here's here's the question. If Nintendo does if they they keep they keep on having rumors of Nintendo buying Capcom. Will that slowly bring that uh, interest back up for another Mega Man? 
if they do something with Mega Man. If there probably won't though, because it's Capcom and they they're not they're not if interested Nintendo, in Mega Man. If Nintendo buys Ma- Capcom, yeah, that means Nintendo's working with Mega Man. Yeah, that would be good. I could see that. Imagine, and then we could get our Mega Man level builder like we they have for Mario. I love it. I love it because you know if they do that, they always have those uh those deals where they like, hey Namco, why don't you make a Metroid or 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 Star Fox or something like this, right? I used to, I used uh, to draw Mega Man levels when I was because, a kid. I mean, um, I mean, imagine imagine uh, Mega Man and Toad together with their crazy train things they do now. What? Whatever, whatever, Toad, Captain Toad. Oh, okay. okay. Captain Mega Man. Come on now. Jeez, I don't see Mega Man in a minecart. But all right, that's, that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, special thanks to Mike Allen at Michael, Mike Allen PR for helping us with the notes and tweets all night. Uh, you can follow us on at Insert Coin to Be TV on Twitter. Uh, you can visit us at Insert Coin to Be dot com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at eight o'clock on Live dot dot com. Uh, for at Sorgatron, at Chachi says, at the Riz, I'm at Bobby FJ Town, and don't forget to enter our contest for those tickets for the Symph- Symphony Orchestra in Pittsburgh. Game over. Game over, yeah! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.